Hello, hi, I'm Misha Grimes. Hello. Okay, so, hi and welcome to a new background. Ooh, so today is Super Hall Sunday. Happy Super Hall Sunday to you all. And um, if you've never seen me before, this is actually a different background for me. Hopefully you guys will have watched my wardrobe um, decluttering. This is just a sneak peek of how tidy and organized it is. But I thought, you know, I've never really filmed in here apart from maybe like when I first started my YouTube channel. So, it's now the time. I've actually got a rail with all the pieces for this haul in front of me. And I just thought it was like a nice way to, you know, stand up, talk through things quickly. Then again, this intro is already like 10 years long. Um, and just, you know, I know that everyone does like a standing uh, video because it's a little bit more like productive. But let me know. I just want to try out some different things whilst we're in lockdown. Um, just, you know, pushing myself out of my comfort zone and all that jazz so okay today's haul is going to be misguided woohoo now i know i did this about so many places but misguided has got some of the best loungewear this isn't just loungewear though like uh, you guys are probably sick of joggers by now i mean i'm not but you probably are a little bit um this is more like I'd call them springtime pieces if you're asking me. Um, so yeah, I know obviously it's just been announced that we're going to be in lockdown for another three weeks. But, you know, we've got to have a positive attitude. Um, I catch myself really falling out of that, um, which is completely understandable. But, you know, positive vibes. Um, there will be light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, life might not be what it was before. But I think I saw a survey and it was like 9% of people in England want life to go back to how it was before. Like, I feel like so many people have noticed the changes in which they need to make in their lives. Um, and I'm definitely one of those people. So there won't be a normal, it will be a new normal. And you know, that's okay. So anyway, I'm going to stop baffling and we're going to get on with this. Um, the outfit I'm currently wearing is actually misguided. So this little top and these joggers, I actually got, um, let me try and, I'm going to try and make this a little bit further back. I don't want to be so far back that I'm like a blob, but maybe you'll be able to see stuff. Okay, great. I might bring you a little bit lower though, because I am not six foot two. Um, so these joggers and this top I got for America. I literally wore them uh, on the way to the airport. No, on the way back at the airport. Um, this was my look. Now, these joggers are like very baggy. I did get them in a 10, um, but they're like extra baggy but i actually really like that because i know normal joggers would be like high waisted i know that's how they're kind of supposed to sit but i love a semi like low rise style jogger i think it's really flattering um and i find them really comfy and like yeah when i go like this do they quite easily come down and expose my pants yes but like you know me i love things to be comfy um it's just like a normal leg honestly great joggers got pockets there's not really much more you could want. Um, and obviously you don't have to wear a crop top with them and then it doesn't really matter that they're a bit more low rise. You could wear a normal top and then, you know, you don't have your entire midriff out. But personally, you know, me, I like this part of me, so I get this bit out. Um, and then this little top is so, so cute. I did get this in an eight because I was like, oh, maybe it'll come up quite small. And to be fair, I'm glad I got it in an eight because I would normally get my tops in a six. Um, and like, it's not like tight on me, but if you had like big boobs, I do think it would be a bit of a stretch. So yeah, love this. Hopefully everything is still back in stock. Oh my God, and I've completely forgotten to mention. How have I forgotten this? I've got a discount code. So these items were gifted by Misguided, um, but we just thought, you know, now is a time where, you know, every little helps. Um, and I thought, you know, that, blah, 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 stop saying you know, Misha. Basically, I just wanted to share a discount code with you all because I know a lot of people are finding comfort in exploring websites and like treating themselves to something once in a while. Um, even if it's just a new pair of joggers, then you know you can get 15% off that with the code Misha15. So I'm not making any commission off that. This video is not sponsored. I just was offered the option of having a discount code and I was like a million percent, I'd absolutely love that. So that's the thesis, but let's get going. Okay, what do I start with? Maybe I pop this on first of all. Um, I'm gonna imagine if I could just do that TikTok thing where they go three, two, one. Ta da! Okay, I don't even know if that was a smooth transition. I don't know what I did, but I tried, okay? So, this little top they have in black and nude, and I think it's called like a handkerchief bralette, but I am so obsessed with it. I think I've worn it 
on Instagram maybe or on TikTok and I was getting so many questions. So if I come up close, I don't know if you can see, it's like a silky fabric and then it's got these lacy details, these little thin spaghetti straps. And then I love how it has like the shorter bits at the side and then how it comes down to a triangle. Now, back when I was younger, I actually used to have so much stuff like this. Obviously not as sexy, not as like revealing, but I always had tops that came down in a triangle like this, um, and then skirts as well. I'm assuming this is like an old trend that's come back, and that's why I had them as a little kid. Um, but I really like it. It also kind of reminds me of, you know how people are taking like silk scarves and making them into tops? It's that kind of vibe. Um, so it is shorter at the back, it's kind of bare at the sides, uh, but no, it fits really nicely. It's actually relative, like obviously I know I don't have the biggest boobs, but it's relatively support there. Um, you probably could get away wearing a strapless bra. It would just need to be a bit of like a thinner strapped one, if you know what I mean. But it's like a crop top without, sorry, I'm not trying to like flash you, but I'm just trying to show you what length it comes to. It's like a crop top without being like too bare. Um, so yeah, really, really cute. I love it. And you could wear it, like, I've worn it with just black joggers, but you could also wear it with denim shorts or, like, smart trousers. This can be casual, dressy, sexy, non-sexy. You never know. You could wear it as lingerie as well. Just putting the feelers out there. Anyway, next piece. Okay, another top. Ready? Three, two, one. Bam! Okay, now, we all know that tie-dye is absolutely everywhere at the moment, uh, which, you know, I am here for, I absolutely love it, but I was living for this slightly different, like, colour. It's like a minty, slightly neon, a lot less neon than it's actually coming up on camera, um, oversized baggy t-shirt. Now, I got this in a medium, not to be able to wear it as a t-shirt dress, because it definitely wouldn't be long enough, but to be able to wear it with, like, shorts and stuff like that. But if you wanted it not so oversized, I would just get, like, your normal size. Um, the sleeves are really nice, long length. You guys know me, I kind of struggle with sleeves because I've got very long arms, especially for my height. I'm only, like, five, five and a half, five, six. I think I'm five, six. Honestly, I don't know. I haven't been measured in about 10 years. Um, so I have quite long arms for my height, but you know, random fact in there. I'm living for this little like details and then they also have it down the arm, but just so comfy, so cute. Like it is the softest fabric. And I'd never really owned long sleeve t-shirts before recently, but now that I have them, I realized why everyone's so obsessed with them because they are so mother fricking comfortable. It's ridiculous. Um, I've also just realized that I definitely had another t-shirt, like oversized t-shirt. And I don't know where it's gone because I know I wore it when I baked and I was wearing white. So that was a bad idea. Okay, so the concerning thing is I've done my washing. I've organised my entire dressing room and I haven't come across it. Eh? I mean, it was out of stock anyway, but okay, moving onwards. Sorry, that was not very interesting. Okay, next let's go to... Hmm maybe these little bad boys because they go with this as well so i know these seem like such a basic thing but these shorts just really caught my eye um so they're just these white um kind of like fabricy ones they aren't too tight on the waistband they are just beautiful now i did get them in a 10 again because you guys know me i like to have things comfortable um and they definitely are i also think baggy shorts are nice because then you can cinch in the waist slash they can also be stupidly comfortable um if you want to eat your entire body weight which you know i do quite often but okay so let's just tie this top out of the way it actually looks quite cute here are these shorts now i'm just gonna cinch in the waist um I just think, you know, everyone needs a pair of white shorts. They're not very bummy. Like, they're short, but they're not, like, bummy bummy. So that's really good. Um, and, I mean, there's not really much to say about them. But I just think they're a staple. And, like, even if you just do that, that looks cute. At least I think it looks cute. I hope you guys think it looks cute. Um, I'm hoping they have these in other colours. Because I would definitely get them. Even to, like, work out in. Um, because... I like shorts that don't show my entire A cheeks, pretty much. And that's the T. <laughs> I need to stop saying that's the T. Like, that's such an old saying, but you know, I do my own thing. Slash, I'm copying everybody else by saying that, but YOLO. That's another one that's really old and should have died, but no. Okay, now obviously they're white shorts, so everything matches them. But another thing I got that really matches is this oversized white misguided hoodie. Now, obviously, like, it's very big on the branding, but because it's such like a bold 
word. I actually think it looks great. I'm living for living. I have all these really annoying phrases, and for some reason today they're just aggravating me. My own voice is aggravating me, so I apologise if it's aggravating you. I would understand. So I love the black strip down the arm. As you guys saw from last week's haul, I'm very much into this like black or white like lines, piping, stitching situation. Um, again, I got this in a UK 10. I actually think it might not be long enough to be worn as a jumper dress um but it's definitely a very oversized fit anyway and then obviously i sized up so i think this will be quite baggy but let's see in three two one okay now i get boy racer vibes i don't know if that's just me but here is this beautiful lovely i'm living oh misha shut up i'm really sorry i'm aggravating myself to a new degree I am obsessed with this kind of like shape of it. I know it's very oversized, very like androgynous, masculine. Kind of looks like you've still on your boyfriend's um, jumper look, which, you know, that's fine by me. Uh, and then obviously you can tuck it into the shorts. I will be wearing this out on my dog walk when, you know, currently right now it's really cloudy and gross. But I think it's supposed to be nice on Sunday when you guys are watching this. Because I'm filming this on Friday. Yeah, I think it's Friday today. To be fair, honestly, who has a clue? They all blend into one. But, yes, practical, comfy, soft, alluring, just a great piece to have, especially at this time of year. Also, you could obviously wear it to the gym when that happens, or just around the house. It's a great one. Yes. Okay, now, um, hmm. I said it wasn't all loungewear, but I'm kind of realising that it kind of is. Oopsie. Let me know if you'll fill up a loungewear and I should move on to something else. But, I don't know, I feel a bit odd about doing normal hauls during this time because, you know, I'm, I'm hauling things that you guys might want to treat yourself to because you're at home and you need a pair of joggers or you need a jumper rather than, you know what I mean? Other stuff. But if you're fed up with this and you want me to go to, like, normal clothes so we have something to look forward to, then let me know. But these are great pieces and I wanted to share them and I'm sure you guys will love them as much as I do. But next up, we've got a little look. we got a little look. A little white top and a pair of lilac joggers so i'm gonna put them on and i'll be back but let me know if you've seen that tiktok or i'm just being a weirdo <laughs> the second one here we go okay so i've seen so many people with these little white crop tops so i just kind of wanted to get one um just so you know i could match with everyone they are quite like tight under the arms so maybe i should just stretch that a little bit um but obviously as you wear it and you wash it that would loosen uh they're not actually it's a little bit it's a little bit it's a little bit nippy but you know that's fine hello camera that's fine, um, you know me, I don't wear bras, so that would be why. Um, but no, I have been looking for the perfect pair of lilac joggers for so long. So the moment I saw these, I was like, you are coming with me and going straight in my basket. Again, because I got them in a 10, instead of them being like up here and high-waisted, they're more like a low-waisted and a drop crotch. But that is personally how I like my joggers. Um, oh. I was being really cocky earlier saying how awake I am considering how little sleep I've slept. Sleep I've slept, that's not a phrase, in the last like week. And now I've hit a wall and I'm like, <sighs> nap time? But it's five o'clock, it's definitely not nap time. Actually it's 5.10. Anyway, so yeah, really nice. Um, I'm normally like a bit iffy about joggers that have these strings, but it doesn't actually like affect it at all. So they're actually still really, really comfy. Um, huge pockets actually again it's another pair that you know if i pulled down really hard then again i feel like if you did that with any but you know what i mean like if someone grabbed me by my joggers <laughs> do people do that like so, i don't i don't know i think i'm talking absolute rubbish um but i like the rib style of this t-shirt um and i think this little neckline is really interesting makes it a little bit different um and actually talking of this neckline i've just realized that the next piece has the same neckline this rail i've just realized is going to be empty at the end and that's not going to look very pretty but we're going to go with it so this is actually a loungewear set it's like a fluffy cord and um, you can buy them separately but well, they are bought separately i'm 100 sure um but i just realized that this is actually the exact same shape it looks the exact same on the camera but i promise this one's actually like a cream fleece and then this one is a white but let's put on this and then we have a lot of gray left which is fine by me 
Okay, so this is another set where I got the top in an 8 and the bottoms in a 10. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I should have got these bottoms in an 8. Um, they are particularly oversized and very long in the leg. Um, so I probably will need to take these up or, like, roll over the waistband or something. But it doesn't take away from how cute and cosy they are. Um, it's a very... So I'm just bringing you up to the top sweet little cord um it's just the trousers are a little bit big for me but you know that's my own fault um and this is the little top obviously you don't have to wear these together you can wear them with different things um these ones don't have pockets because obviously like it's fleece i feel like it would be so padded then and make your hips maybe look a bit distorted um but there's not really much more you could want oh i've still got the label in it i'm glad i've worn this which is quite comical but there's not really much more you could want when you're roaming around the house and you know you're just want to feel bougie like imagine coming out of a bath and putting this on that would feel so bougie i feel so so okay, i need to stop stroking myself um let's move on i'm in actual klutz to a playboy misguided item okay so i'm just gonna actually pop this one on top because it doesn't really matter what i have underneath um i spotted this one and you guys know i'm a huge fan of the playboy misguided collection like i have so many of their pieces i think they're great uh, and I've got an itch, sorry. I hope they bring out more and more and more and more and more and more collections of it. But I thought this was really cute because of the little sleeves. So I loved these little like short sleeves, which aren't very common on jumpers. Um, and then obviously it has the Playboy in white stitching. And then it has the Playboy bunny on the front with the bright pink font. Um, and you guys know me, I absolutely obsessed with grey. So this was just a very much a bit of me. Um, I don't think it's long enough to wear as a jumper dress. Not quite. Just just not um like if i lifted up my hands you would get bum cheek but you know just pop on some gray cycling shorts some <gasps> i need some hot pink cycling shorts wait i have hot pink cycling shorts that with this would look so adorable um and i like the baggy nature of it like it is like more of a balloon style jumper just like the sleeves so no so comfy so cozy and i like the shade of gray it's a little bit different it's not textured gray it's like a flat gray which is quite rare Anyway, let's move on to the last thing that is grey and is technically pyjamas but also kind of loungewear but also you could go out on this if you wanted to. Where's your money? Hmm? Okay. So, here we have some more grey. We have some shorts. Obviously, you know me, I don't really suit hoods but this is the softest fabric little loungewear piece. And if you can, can you, I wish this was touch a vision. You'd feel how soft it is. May I comment? We are in a new filming arena. Yes, we are in a new filming. Oh. Do we like it? I think so. And how is the lighting? It's actually not too bad. This room's a bit dark, so I thought it wouldn't work. But, I mean, it, it jumps in and out sometimes. But the ring light seems to be doing a good job of it. So, you know, it's fine. Um, but no, these shorts are so cute. I love the little frills on them. You know me. Like, anything with frills is just a bit of me. Me too. Um, so it's a long sleeve, but it's so lightweight, so soft. The shorts are also really, really comfortable. Uh, they don't flash your bottom. And I would 100% go out in this, like chuck on a pair of white trainers. Are you sure it's shorts, not pyjamas then? Well, I think it's technically pyjamas, but I would wear it, like, you know, on a dog walk to the supermarket, on my daily exercise. You know what I mean. Um, so no, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And that is the end of my misguided Super Hall Sunday. I'm gonna go and have a nap. <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will link all the pieces that I can down below, but I feel like a lot of them are gonna be sold out because recently everyone is on it with the loungewear. Like any nice piece of loungewear, people are on it. So yes, um, don't forget to use my code Misha15 uh, if you do want to save yourself some money. And I'm gonna love you and leave you. So toodle pep, I love you guys lots. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye all. And also I've got an IGTV coming of this makeup look and this hair.